Some 900 bloggers who refer to themselves as the renaissance of public opinion have gathered here in Berlin. The Republica 2009 conference is addressing numerous themes close to the hearts of online citizen journalists and those committed to protecting citizens from the prying eyes of the state. Among them, getting around censors and data protection. They've especially targeted what they see as violations of privacy as part of anti-terror efforts that have no place in a free society. This young activist from the Chaos Computer Club is making a copy of the thumbprint of German Interior Minister Wolfgang Schäuble to demonstrate that biometric data is not an effective safeguard against forgery and identity theft. We wanted to show how easy it is to duplicate and circulate fingerprints, and also how each person leaves behind hundreds of fingerprints in a day, on glasses, on doors. For travel to and from the U.S., even a fingerprint is no longer enough. Authorities are also beginning to collect information about passengers' credit cards, eating habits, and even travel routes. Having to show them an itinerary, I think that's going pretty far. It makes sense up to a point, but you get the impression now that it's all a bit over the top. At a conference at the Pergamon Museum in Berlin, German data protection officials agreed that the latest measures go too far and can no longer be justified by the fight against terrorism. I find it totally unacceptable that completely normal travel movements are to be registered for years. Schaar says it's wrong for authorities to view every individual as a potential threat. He's calling on any further demands from the U.S. for personal data to be rejected.